dog, good dog. I prefer not to be limited by the good dog, bad dog binary. It's a spectrum, and I live somewhere between compliant and frisky. This is gonna sound very sus and kind of stupid, but I think I like this show. I think? <laughs> if you don't know what show I'm talking about, I'm literally talking about Housebroken. A show that's apparently under the fucking radar. The show is honestly becoming another big mouth, but it doesn't need to. It's literally so stupid. I swear to God, this show is like a live league, bro. You see the logo and you know what the fuck's gonna happen, but you're just like, ah, oh, the anticipation, you know? You just wanna really see this out, even though you sort of look away, like you're over there hiding like, hey, this video's kinda fucked up, but like. Anyway, let me explain what the fuck is going on in this show. This show is about a group of friends. They made a therapy group and they talk about their problems and what's going on in their life. It's actually unironically kind of nice. Oh my God, did you just talk about therapy for the fifth video in a row? What the fuck? It's a sitcom show and honestly, it's kind of interesting. Like, not because the comedy is good or anything like that. Like legitimately, I don't know what they're doing with the comedy in this show most of the time. The comedy in this show is kind of bad majority of the time because they rely on shock humor or just random things being thrown out there and expecting like, 12 year old Timmy to fucking laugh. Their idea of jokes is like sex, um, uncomfortable humping, um, <laughs> literally censored genitalia. That wouldn't be too much of a problem. Like, it, I wouldn't like the show, but like, it wouldn't be too much of a problem if they weren't animals. They on some wild shit, okay? These are literally four legged animals, and like, there's literally like a little storyline of a turtle trying to hump a fucking like shoe or like a slipper or some fucking shit. So fucking weird. It is so fucking weird. And I wish they would stop. Wait, what did I start this video off with? I think I like this show. Hey, 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 hey let me explain this. <laughs> I don't justify the weird ass shit that's happening to these animals, okay? I don't justify that shit in any sort of sense. What I like is basically like their connection. These characters bounce off each other extremely well. And like when they're being very lighthearted and wholesome, that's when they're at their best, to be honest. This show is weird because it has very good moments to where I'm actually engaged and I'm actually like, I care about these characters. But then they throw in like a dog taking Viagra and then their penis show. Please, for the love of fucking God, stop doing this. You're ruining your own reputation, which you don't even have. I don't know how the fuck this shit got a second season, but now that it does, I'm actually like, I still care about these characters. Please don't fuck this up. Please go a better route. I'm going to take something like Tuka and Birdie, for example. That is an amazing fucking show. And it's because they take two characters and they actually develop them. You don't watch the show for something like random or something like shocking or like something weird or anything like that. You don't watch the show for that. You watch the show to watch these characters develop and that's the humor. They take two human characters and they basically make it relatable. They put them in situations to where they both can bounce off each other and sort of grow. It's very good character development. And honestly, I think Housebroken has that potential. This sounds so weird because the way I'm talking about this show, it seems like such an L show, I'm so sorry. I promise you they have something here. I've watched enough of this series, which is kind of sad for me. I've watched enough of this series to actually tell you and warrant you that like, there is something good in this show if the writers just stop being fucking weird. Elsa, Elsa is actually unironically one of my favorite characters in this show. You're not better than me. And it's weird because at the very start, I thought they were gonna play her like kind of fucked up as like this weird Karen attribute. But Elsa is a character who was supposed to be like this very like weird, like I guess pronouns character. But like honestly, she turned out to be extremely fine. Like they did her honestly pretty well. She has a lot of issues and like, I wanna kind of unravel those issues. Like this is a character I really do care about seeing growth. She seems like a very annoying character because she's always trying to get attention. She's always trying to like make things about her. But honestly, I think it's because like she hasn't had much attention herself and she's trying to just be listened to. And you can see like in the second season, whatever like that, when she gets attention, she doesn't really know how to like 
respond to it because everyone's been pushing her away and I feel I feel this character is actually extremely good but she's a corgi you know she she's basically me you know I mean How's it going, pups? It's a game. <laughs> the amount of motion and funny moments you can portray from these characters being animals, I think is like larger than you realize. But all you're doing is just doing these basic shit that anyone can do. Family Guy's done it a million times. But, well, to be honest, it wasn't moral when Family Guy did it. It's just, you know, they're adult humans majority of the time. <laughs> but please stop doing the weird shit and start focusing on the actual vocal talent you have. The cast is amazing, and please just start playing with them instead of playing with your dicks when you're fucking making this show. <laughs> That's nasty as fuck to think about. I ain't got nothing to say.